Holly and welcome back to the Art of Yoga Project YouTube channel. Today we're going to go through a brief practice honoring Earth and all that is feminine about the Earth and how we have feminine energy within us and noticing the feminine energy around us. And we'll do a moon salutation and the moon salutation will help open up in the hips, kind of where life all began here in our pelvis, our hips. And um, we'll get started <clears throat> standing. So once you're ready, we'll start in a seat and see if you can invite today. You may have props, you may or may not have a block. If you'd like, you can prop two blocks beneath your knees and kind of already start to welcome this opening of the hips here. You can sit easy cross-legged also, wherever you're at beginning to just kind of wobble side to side. See if you can begin to feel that connection to the earth beneath you, beneath your sit bones. Notice your spine's tall and the direction of wobbling side to side. We'll start to slowly invite circles into the movement, inviting the chest forward and inviting the chest back. Just sort of Maybe looking around, noticing your space as you do this, noticing what surrounds you, where you're at today, whom you're practicing with, or if you're practicing alone. And then we'll take these circles the other direction, slowly but surely feeling the spine warm up in this little exercise as well, and maybe a lot of us are feeling it <clears throat> in the hips. See if we can take a few deep breaths here in the hips as we pause in the middle, inviting our spine nice and tall, reach up as you inhale, and then exhale, let your wrists roll out and your hands come back down towards the floor. And talking about balancing the different energies that are within us all, exhale, let your hands come down, noticing if we can on the inhale feel like we're collecting this energy sort of a more masculine, do, go for it, and then exhale, let your energy ground. Embracing the feminine, more calm, nurturing side of things, and maybe notice the difference as you inhale, feeling more energized, maybe look up towards the sky, and then as you exhale, maybe invite your chin down towards your neck. And then once you're ready, just start to roll one ear over the one shoulder and the other ear over the other, just warming up each part of the body. If you're sitting in an easy sit, maybe cross your opposite leg in front for the rest of our warm up, just getting the other side. Inhaling and exhaling into these half circles with the head. And then maybe take it into full circle. Whatever feels good for you. Arriving in your practice and your body, noting that everything I offer for today's class is simply that, an offering. And you can decide to take it wherever you would like. So big or small circles. Pausing with your chin down towards your chest. Let's take a moment to warm up the palms. And maybe in doing so, we can imagine all that is feminine within us and the energy between the palms. Feeling a nurturing sensation, warmth, those kinds of things that we feel when we're at home. And then maybe take that warmth and anything that you're needing, maybe a little love, and place it on your maybe belly for a moment, just sort of feeling connected to all that is beneath kind of where life began. And you can breathe into your palms and breathe away from your palms, inviting a nice deep breath into the belly. And then exhale, release the palms down to your knees. We'll do a little check-in before we get going into our asana practice for the moon salutations. And during this check-in, if you're alone, maybe just doing it silently, or if you are with people, taking a moment to check in with them as well, sharing your name, your feeling. It's always important to note where you're coming from, how you're arriving. And then 
maybe go around and share why we think that we call Earth Mother, Mother Earth. What is a reason that you think that we refer to the Earth as Mother? And maybe because it has the qualities of nurturing, homing us, it provides food, nutrients, right? We can sort of call this our home. And hopefully taking a moment to check in, we'll move into our practice now. Noting you had blocks for the practice. I also have an eye pillow for the end when we do a final relaxation. That can always help eliminate distractions. A blanket is also welcome if you have a blanket and we're going to slide that beneath uh, beneath us maybe. Otherwise, let's get started with our movement practice. After checking in, we'll start standing at the front of our backs, inviting a little bit of a rocking forward onto the toes and back onto the heels. Just start to feel what it's like to Find your center, rock side to side, maybe. Like we're massaging the earth with the feet. Can you imagine doing that? All four corners. Let the feet press firmly down into the floor beneath our hips. And let's just begin by waking up a little bit more energy in the hips. We'll just start to take circles, hands on the hips, and see if we can kind of feel what it's like to get a side stretch sides of the body going one direction and then taking it the opposite direction. And at the front of our mats, continuing to stand and pausing your circles. We'll inhale, reach the palms up to the sky. And then exhale, see if you can interlace one of your fingers and see if we can bring it over to the right. Pointer finger and thumb wraps around our wrist. And then we can invite a nice side stretch. So it's beginning our, our moon salutations with a crescent side stretch. Inhaling into the side. Exhaling, bringing it over. And inhale, straighten. Let's go over to the opposite side. Exhale, maybe clasp your left finger, pointer finger and thumb around the right wrist now and guide your movements over to the left. Guide your hips over to the right. I'll share a quote by Dolores Huerta, speaking about, we must use our lives to make the world a better place to live, not just to acquire things. That is what we are here put on earth for. So imagining living in this moment to our fullest, reach up as you inhale nice and full, and then exhale, we're gonna go ahead and bring our gaze down to the floor, down to the toes, reach down, step back with your right foot, and we're gonna come up for just a little lunge. Bring your back knee to the floor if you'd like. You can flip over your mat or invite a blanket there. Let's create another crescent shape here. So another um, passive sort of beautiful moon-inspired pose here, lunge, crescent lunge. And we feel nice and feminine in this moment, kind of embracing that we all have that side of us that exists. Maybe feeling graceful or passive in this moment. Exhale, let's continue the salutation. Bring the hands to the floor onto the inside of that left foot. Come off your back knee and then see if we can Swoop it on up to a star. So from crescent lunge to star pose. Star, you want to feel bright. You want to feel like you're shining in all opposite directions, really reaching through your points here. Toes pointing out to the side, bend the knees, exhale, bring the elbows down. Goddess. This is another beautiful one for embracing that feminine energy. Maybe blossom your palms towards the sky and tuck your tailbone slightly. And maybe inhale, lift up one ankle just to add some challenge or stay where you're at. Exhale, ankle down. Inhale, left ankle up. Exhale, ankle down. And maybe inhale, both ankles up. Using some strength of our legs. Exhale and let that side go. We're going to move on to the other side. So when you're ready, pointing your right toes forward and then 
kind of bring your hands down to the floor. We're going for a low lunge facing the back of our mats. Opposite direction of the mat. Inhale, rise the palms up. Nice crescent lunge from fingertips back to the back toes. Take a breath here into the stomach, into the front of the left quad. And then remember to go back to just some more feminine energy, relaxed. Not really trying to go fast or hard or be tough. Okay, to embrace that side of us that is wants to relax and be passive. Exhale, the hands down. Go ahead, hands inside of this back foot. Bring up onto the back knee again. Rise back up to your star. Take a breath here. Exhale into your goddess. And then inhale, shine your star bright. And then go ahead and sweep yourself up back to the front of the mat. We'll add on. This time moving with our breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, just rise halfway and let your back and your belly be straight. Exhale, hands to the floor, to the block. Step the right foot back again. We're going to add on this time. So crescent mood on your inhale. On your exhale, hands down inside of that leg. Inhale, come up through to your star. But this time, take your left toes face out. Almost like we're going to a warrior two. We're going to take it to a triangle pose from last month, if you remember from last month. Bring your left hand down, right palm up. Triangle pose, feeling really resilient. Remember, building resilience. If you feel like you're going to fall, coming back up. But embracing that moment within the pose. Exhale, come back. Guide your palm back. Inhale, your left palm up. Right palm back. Left knee bent. Humble. Reverse peaceful warrior. And then exhale back to your star pose. Inhale nice and deeply. Exhale, sit into your goddess. Bracing that energy and within the hips, floating here. Shine back up straight. Point your right toes forward. Find ourselves in triangle on the opposite side. As you go ahead, we're going to move our way on the way back to the back side of our salutation. Triangle, looking up if that's comfortable on your neck, right palm down. Remember, right palm can be on a block. If it's not reaching the floor comfortably, or you can be on spider fingers. Inhale, come back up. Reverse it through a warrior. Reverse warrior, feeling nice and peaceful here. And then come down, cartwheel your hands down. Find your crescent pose. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, hands rise. Crescent back of the mat. And then exhale, hands down. Go ahead, rise off back knee. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, rise tall. And find yourself back at the front of the mat. Exhale, roll your wrists all the way down, settling in your mountain posture for a moment. Take a breath, maybe roll your shoulders out. Connecting back to maybe an intention before we do a full moon salutation. I'll read another quote here. By habits. Even after all this time, the sun has never said to the earth, you owe me. Look what happens with a love like that. It lights up the sky. And that's a quote by habits. And we can think of this as a beautiful relationship that this mother earth has with us. So doing these salutations and moving through these salutations, how can we feel like we're honoring this Mother Earth and also honoring um, sort of the feminine energy that's within all of us? So as we move, see if we can embrace that through our final moon salutation. Reach our arms up, inhale. Exhale, guide yourself down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lifting your back. Look forward, shift your weight forward. And then exhale, the hands come to the ground. Step your right foot back. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Moving one breath, one movement. Exhale, hands down. Walk over the hands this time. And let's see if we can just come all the way to the center with the hands on the floor. Hands to the hips. Inhale, nice and bright. Star pose. Exhale, go ahead. And this time we're going to bring our hands back to the knees, back to the hips, bend the knees. Bend the knees and see if we can maybe dip one shoulder down. Inhale, dip the other shoulder down. 
We're going to play around a little bit in the middle of this moon citation with just a few squats, uh, ninja squats. So walking the hands over, moving with the breath. Inhale, straighten your back, start in the middle. And the next time, walk hands over to the left. Inhale, up to the middle. And then exhale, move your hips over to the right. Kind of like a little nimble ninja here, moving side to side. Let's complete our moon salutation on the opposite side. Inhale, rise. Hands to the hips, shine bright like a star. Exhale, go ahead and point your toes down. Cartwheel your hands down. Inhale up, crescent lunge, facing the back of your mat. And exhale, hands down. Go ahead, see this time, lift the leg up and then walk yourself back. And then see if you can bring your right foot forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise high, mountain posture. Moving with your breath, this last one. See if you can do one breath, one movement. Every pose we've done thus far, combining them in this beautiful sequence we call moon salutation. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, go ahead, over to the right. Remember, crescent over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, crescent to the left. Move your hips to the right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, dive, swan dive, nice and gracefully, right? Embracing that beautiful feminine energy within all of us. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Step your right foot back and let's sweep it up through a crescent lunge. This time we're gonna see if we can come on over to our ninja squats to so see if we can walk our hands over to the center. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Shake your head out, yes, no, maybe so. Inhale, hands to the hips, come up. Exhale, shine right like a star. Point your left toes out, right, left fingers gazing over, and then let's straighten our left leg and come on over to our triangle inhale. Triangle pose, feeling those three points, two on the floor, one on the staff. Exhale, through to your peaceful warrior. Inhale, rise your left palm. Let's go to the other side. So starting in your start, exhale, hands to the hips. Let's meet in our goddess for a breath. Inhale, come up. Hands to the ground. Walk them on over to the right. And then see if we can go ahead and find our crescent lunge on this side. Inhale, stick the palms up. Face in the back of the mat. Nice and easy. Taking it slow, nurturing yourself through every movement. Come on up through to our cartwheel. Find yourself in a warrior two for a moment. Straighten your leg and then reach your left palm up. Only if it's comfortable on your neck do we look up, otherwise looking forward. Inhale, rise, reverse it nice and peacefully. And then exhale, go ahead. Cartwheel the hands down. Walk them through, back towards the center through a ninja. Back to the front of the mat. See if we can bring the right foot forward. And this time, see if we can just come down to the toes and give ourselves a big hug. So kind of like we were in a cocoon or we were a little kangaroo in our mama's belly in a sack, a kangaroo sack. Just feeling like in this beautiful position for a moment or sitting on the butt and holding our knees, we'll come back and take a pause to self, embracing ourselves, nurturing our bodies with every breath we take. And then slowly but surely, let's invite ourselves all the way down to our backs, reminding ourselves to take it nice and slow, no rush, giving yourself the time, knock your knees side to side. Inhaling, straighten your knees and exhaling, maybe have them guide over to one side and the other. Coming up with the knees, straightening the legs, giving yourself final moments of class in the middle of our mats, supported beneath us with a blanket. Maybe you at this point grab your eye pillow. Taking this time as we wrap up our class, the movement part of our class. 
bringing yourself down, back down to the earth. Notice your breath slow down to its natural pace. And then giving yourself these last few moments to reflect on your practice. Thinking back to the motherly qualities that this earth has, kind of letting gravity just hold you down really close to Mother Earth. Thinking about all the different ways that Mother Earth supports and nurtures us, and having gratitude, and also thinking how we have these same feminine qualities how we can support and nurture ourselves. And then with that, how can we show the earth? What's a way that we can show the earth our gratitude and support? And maybe even directing that towards, if not Mother Earth, but towards your actual mother or anybody in your life who has been that motherly character, that motherly feminine, nurturing, loving character for you. Taking three more deep breaths here to honor. I'm going to just breathe our final moments here in Savasana. With the eyes closed or softly gazing at the ceiling, as you lie here, calm and steady, the back of your body supported and resting on the earth, can you zoom your imaginary lens out to envision looking down on the earth from outer space? As if you were in a spaceship, looking down at planet Earth. Lying here in your third eye, imagining from space, her contours, her colors, and her crevices. Can you imagine the Earth as the whole and intricate mother that she is? Can you envision all the different beings that she cares for, from the fish in her seas to the lizards in her deserts? To the lions in her mountains and the people in her cities. What a loving and generous mother to give so fully to all of these creatures. Take a moment to feel yourself supported here in whatever room that you're at and by the very same earth. You are cared for, loved, and nurtured by her. Take a deep breath into your belly Maybe placing the palms there again, as we did at the beginning of class. Taking a deep breath into your belly to feel that truth in the center of your belly. As you exhale, send that love to all parts of your body. Thinking about how life all began in the belly. As you're ready, begin to wake up your body and open your eyes. Stretch your arms and your legs. Maybe feel your head rock side to side. Crawl over to one side, meeting yourself in a fetal position. So head in the arms or head in the hands. And as you lie here, can you continue to connect to that feeling of being comforted and cared for? And slowly make your way back. Maybe slowly moving all the way up to a seat. And then we'll wrap up today's class with a little check-in, so meeting ourselves in a seat.
And maybe if you'd like to share with the ones surrounding you or silently with yourself, something that you can do to give back to Mother Earth, right? Or what is a, something that we can do to show that gratitude that we felt and we envisioned during our final relaxation. And maybe that is just also giving right back that same feminine, nurturing, caring feeling. So by cleaning up, keeping it beautiful, uh, treating it with kindness, anything that you wanna do to share with self or with others before we take a moment to check out with the self coming back to whatever your group is or just to some silence and stillness by yourself. We'll take one final breath together again. I thank you for joining me for today's class here on the Art of Yoga Project YouTube channel. My name is Holly. We'll take one collective breath, inhaling your arms all the way up. And wherever you're at, sealing in that feeling, that caring, nurturing self, seal your hands toward the center, whatever resonates with you on the belly. Know that the light in me sees and honors the light in each of you on this day.